Yo, what's up everybody? We're back. Today, we're doing more main DPS Mona testing. It's a video I've done in the past. It did very well. I really enjoyed it. And the meta keeps evolving. So we're here today again to try a new type of Mona, which we've never tried before. We got artifact rolling, weapon testing, and we're going to see how good she is as a plunge DPS. So without further ado, let's get in to today's video. But before we do get into today's video, I do just want to let you guys know that we are going to be doing a bunch of giveaways. We're coming really close to 90,000 subscribers, which is a gigantic number. And when we hit it, we're going to be doing a bunch of crystal top up giveaways. And all you have to do to enter is go down, hit that subscribe button, and let's get in to today's video. We're back again talking about main DPS Mona. I feel like it's been maybe a year or two since my last one but we are back again and with a new glider this glider is absolutely gorgeous by the way the wings of transient dreams now the main reason we're talking about her today is because of the new character zian yun or cloud retainer who makes almost every character in the game better than they already were d luke 10 times better zhao 10 times better mona maybe not as much but she definitely got an improvement to her main dps capabilities with the release of cloud retainer and today we're going to show that off all right so as you see here main dps mona by herself does about an average of three to four k when she crits which is pretty decent honestly for the build that i have we can do like 14k sometimes or even 16k on charge attacks just with her alone but with the addition of cloud retainer when we use this burst and then we go in with mona we can do an upwards of 36 to 38k which is absolutely insane now that is partially due to the fact that i have cloud retainer on four piece viridescent but that is also due in part to the fact that Mona has very, very high scaling on her plunging attack, coming in at a solid 281 to 225, depending on the height difference of your plunge attacks. Now, that is just a little glimpse into how good the build really is. We're going to take it later into the Spiral Abyss. But for right now, there are some more things I want to do because there are more ways we can optimize this build. Right now, I am running the Lost Prayer of Sacred Winds, the four piece Nymph Stream. We of course have the C6 and we have 10, 10, 10 talent. Here are a glimpse of some of my artifacts. They're nothing crazy, but they do the job. Now, the main thing I want to talk about is her weapon. So right now I am running her on Lost Prayer of the Sacred Winds, which is a very, very solid weapon. But recently I actually got another really good weapon while I was rolling for Verdict on the Navia banner. I actually lost the 50-50 for Verdict and I ended up getting a Skyward Atlas, which if you don't know, it's actually generally considered to be the best in slot for main dps mona we go up to 2.2k attack however our crit ratio takes a big hit we as you see we go down to 38 194 which is not great so to counteract this we're going to put her on a crit rate hat and now our ratio is going to look something like this 62 151 and now for my own clarity i kind of want to check the damage difference between the lost prayer and the skyward atlas to see which one really does more damage now skyward atlas is going to activate like this we're going to see that little bubble beside us and that's just going to kind of deal continuous damage to the enemy as you see there it does 5k it does 12k and we can basically just constantly get that up whenever we do normal attacks and so it actually is a very very nice weapon that will just give us a little bit of extra physical damage although it's not that helpful for elemental reactions and of course if we are using zian yun and doing plunging attacks then it obviously won't be that helpful either now to make this a little bit easier to quantify which one is really better we're gonna go all out with our team here use all our bursts and see how fast we can kill masanori and whichever weapon is faster has to be better right we got 134 133 if we do a couple normal attacks here our lost prayer should be able to finish off the boss there we're gonna put a bird farina again we're just gonna use everything and see how fast we can do it we already got through first phase in 151. 150? Oh gosh, this is faster. Oh, I can already feel the difference. Oh my goodness, he's almost dead. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, that was definitely faster. I think that was somewhere near 147. So the damage difference between the Lost Prayer 
and the Skyward Atlas is pretty incremental, especially since Skyward Atlas's passive doesn't really synergize well with ZN Yun. Now, obviously, there's really nothing else I can particularly optimize about this build. We got max talent, we got max constellation. However, we do not have the best artifacts ever. There is definitely some improvements we can make to artifacts here. My feather, hella mid. This is like a 26 CV piece. Same thing with my flower, hella mid. <laughs> Today, we're gonna change that. We have the Molten Iron Fortress domain here, and it's our time to finally get ourselves an upgrade for Mona Majestus because I believe it will happen today. This is not an efficient domain to grind at all. To be honest, both the artifact sets are pretty bad, but I do not care. I refuse to leave my Mona on this absolutely trash build, or it's not trash, but it could use better artifacts. First condensed of the day, let's go. Okay, hydro damage bonus, cryo, damn it. Godflower, could be good. We are locking anything with one crit stat. I am desperate, and you guys will see that here today. Jump and down. Jump. Holy crap. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> 42. 42. Goodbye. Oh, my bro, there's so many numbers. God, peace. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. No way. Oh, what is that piece? Bro, that could be the God piece right there. Cloud Retainer jump. I, I love doing the three jumps every time. I kind of have to. It must be done. There is no choice. We have to let the worlds collide there. Put this down. We don't die. Go main DPS official. Now this is now this is the real meta build. Main DPS official. <laughs> oh, she got him. Good job, fish. Two more pieces? Maybe? No. Ooh. Oh, wrong set though. Damn it. Okay, we're on to our final condensed. Let's see if we can get one last good piece here with whatever we have left. Here we go, bird. I love that move. 39. 35 every time bro you die embarrassing goodbye 47 46 it's too free man let's get our final condense here and see what we get what is it gonna be uh nothing in the right set so it doesn't matter but oh my goodness why <laughs> we've got everything in the wrong set today are you kidding me well that's the end of our artifacts i think it's time we finally go and make some god pieces but first we're gonna go to our lucky spot because if you're rolling artifacts for somebody then you should go somewhere that's meaningful to them and that's why we're in front of mona's house today so let's roll some artifacts for her in front of her domain here we go we're getting god pieces today i do not care nymph stream flowers we got one possible flower with crit rate and that's it let's see if we get crit damage we get flat attack, dead. We got a lot of possible feathers. As you see, I have like nine locked here. We got one with just crit rate, but you never know. It could be the 15 crit rate piece. It won't be the 15 crit rate piece. And the rest of these are just roll the other crit stat. Okay, crit rate, crit damage piece. That's one. What about this bad boy? Roll the other crit. Defense, unlucky. Other crit stat, unlucky. Attack percent, we might still keep that one. Attack percent. Attack percent. Okay. And that's all our feathers. We got one crit rate and damage one. That's probably the only one with a hint of potential. So let's try it out. I don't feel like playing games today. So we're just slapping a plus 20 into it and seeing what we get. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Crit rate damage every time. Two times. That's decent. But I don't think it can be better than my current. Let's see. Crit rate again. Ooh, that could be better. I don't know. That's hard to say compare so this one has attack crit damage crit rate this one's missing attack percent but it has more cv that's a tough decision we may just have to hold on to them both they're very similar pieces let's move on to sands next we got more a lot of sands here in fact we have like way too many sands we even have a defense double crit one i don't remember getting this but sure i'll enhance it i'll humor you i won't humor you anymore screw you elemental mastery that's dead we got two attack percent ones, both which have one crit stat. If, if they roll the other crit stat, they could be the god piece. Roll crit rate. Ooh, that is a big piece. Oh my goodness. Crit damage, energy recharge, crit rate. This could be a ginormous upgrade. 
if you just roll the right stats, anything except HP percent, please, please, two times. No. Oh, that sucks. We got no goblets, but we do have one last piece here with crit rate, attack percent, and recharge. This could potentially be the best crit damage hat on my whole account. If we just avoid that third stat, do not betray me game, please. Just avoid the third stat. Oh, wait, that's actually good. That took me a minute to, to clock in, but that's a good piece. Okay, three crit rate, one attack, one defense. That is an upgrade, and we will take that piece. There we go. We actually got a decent piece. One defense is a little unfortunate, but other than that, that's a solid upgrade. But with that all being said, I think it's finally time we take Mona Majestus to showcase in the Spiral Abyss. We've got every optimization we can, and it's about time we prove what she is really capable of, because she is a beast, and I will prove it. We're going to go to floor 12. We are, of course, going to use her on the first half to fight things like the large overgrown breachers, Eremites, and stuff like that, beside Fischl, Farina, and Cloud Retainer, because this comp is absolutely OP. Fischl is Fischl. Farina is Farina, and of course, Cloud Retainer is going to give us those plunging attacks. Here we go, Mona. It's your time. Let's see what you are capable of. Fischl Bird, Farina Burst, and now we put down this. We put down the Burst, and we go in. We go all in 50k. Are we doing consistent 50ks? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, 46. Oh, we're doing consistent 50ks. Oh, this feels good. And look at that. We already defeated two of the big guys there. That is awesome. Now we just got some overgrown breachers. And if we don't die here, oh my goodness, that was close. I forgot that Cloud Retainer isn't the most reliable healer ever. Like I said, 58, 59. Oh, goodness. 61 right there with the burst. That being said, we don't care about the burst. Burst is cringe. And we can just do a couple normal attacks to finish it off. This build is actually very nice because you can just actually use normal attacks. And it's still very viable because official. And we could beat it with eight minutes and 40 seconds left to go which i'm sure with nouvellet on the second half will be absolutely no problem at all chamber two time we got more attack percent let's go again let's show more capabilities put down farina burst put down zian yun burst and we go off let's go mona it's your time show off your potential we kill everything 80k right there on the burst <laughs> that is so nutty we can throw some normal attacks in there i need this guy gone and just like that he's gone ow oh god oh god no get out of the tornado what is that move okay mona i need you to eliminate her quickly hurry up oh, why does she have so much bulk why are you so bulky okay good she's dead two more enemies left to go we got 90 seconds on the clock as long as we finish with 8 30 left we should be good boom burst and we go okay one dead we got one left oh gosh she is doing stuff i don't know what is she doing i need to kill her though fast 36 27 stop teleporting where did she teleport oh we still got eight minutes 30 left though we should be good mona Eight minutes 31 that should be fine and one more half to go we've been able to beat every single half with more than half the time to spare so we've done pretty well so far now she obviously wouldn't be as capable on the second half just because there is a bunch of bosses there but on this first half i mean she is crushing content and this is the hardest content in the game right 53 60k there do you guys see that big 60k oh baby burst again and we go back in 51 46 goodbye goodbye oh my gosh bro it's only 9 16 i'm sorry you didn't deserve this oh no and with nine minutes to spare we beat the first half and that my friends is the power of main dps flying mona I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below or consider subscribing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.